Beautiful tile work combined with majestic artistry makes this bathroom an underwater paradise. The mirror and combined custom tile work is just stunning. It is complete with coral formations and under the sea views. There is even a cavern complete with stalactites. The glass tile work in the shower is nothing short of amazing. And I'm going to show you how I created all of this in this series of Tim's Awesome Projects. In this series of videos, I'm going to show you how I painted these seascape walls, created the incredible coral formations, the amazing glass tile seascape walls, flagstone looking tile floor with surprising animal designs, the beautiful multi-level tile vanity with driftwood inspired cabinets, and so much more. In this video, we will start with the painted seascape walls. Alright, so before we get started, we need to talk about some planning and techniques we're going to use to do these seascape walls. So we're going to start with a light color at the top, and as we come down, we're going to gradually blend it and get it darker in tint. We're going to be using a brush, so we're going to work our way side to side, and we want to always go from a corner to corner, or edge to corner, or whatever we have. We don't want to work like half a wall because when we come down and then we try to do the other half, we'll never get it blended right and we'll wind up with a seam line up and down. So in the case of where we got a door opening, we're going to paint from the one corner over to the other corner until we get to the top of the door. And then we're going to work on one side and I always pick the biggest side to start with that one first. So we'll blend our paint and get it down to where it's darker. And then we'll come over to the other side. And in the case of this door opening, that other side is so small that it's real easy to do anyways. The other thing I want to do before we start all of that is I'm going to come up with a uniform blue, real light blue color to go around the tops. And I go ahead and cut that in on all the walls I'm doing. So I've got a uniform place to start from. So let's uh, go ahead and take a look at what we're going to be using to do this job. All right, so here in front of me is most of the items we're going to be use using to paint this seascape wall. Okay, on the paint, what I prefer to use is the Bear Premium Plus Ultra Paint. I know it's more expensive, but it's it covers better. And for what we're doing, because we need to do this with just one thick, heavy coat. So the, I just found that that paint works really well. Um, we're, we got a gallon of dark blue paint and you're going to want this to be the darkest blue that you're going to have at the bottom of your wall. And then you're going to have some white paint. Then we're going to have a, some yellow paint to do some of our tinting. Now from the yellow paint mixing in with the blue, we'll also get some greens and aqua colors that we need. So these are the only three colors we need, the blue, the white, and the yellow. Uh, then we're going to have some two inch wide masking tape to mask off the ceiling and adjacent walls as needed. We got a little uh, third cup measuring cup here. I just use that as a scoop for the yellow paint just to minimize making a mess trying to pour it out of the can. These other cans I have these pour spouts so I don't need to use it for those. Um, you'll want a pretty decent two and a half inch uh, brush. This one's a polyester brush. Um, you may need a stir stick. I also have a uh, stirring paddle that works in the cordless drill for doing the gallon. And I, I picked up this little party platter at just at a home goods store. They're pretty cheap, plastic, easy to clean up. So we're going to use this to use to mix some of our colors together. Then I also have this uh, other little plastic container that we're going to use to measure a batch of light blue paint for, for doing at the top of the wall. I found it's best to just 
mix up a batch of it so our light blue at the top will be uniform all the way across our walls and i'll keep a batch of that till i get the top of the walls all painted and then i'll use it to mix back in with the dark blue to get it a little bit darker tint as we start moving down the wall so what we're going to do next is go ahead and get our paint for the top of the wall which is going to be a real light blue we're going to get that mixed and like i said we're going to do a batch big enough that we can do our whole bathroom at the top of the wall now because now i'm just doing the demo i'm just going to do a really small batch okay so i've already uh, stirred up this paint so it's ready to pour so we'll just open these pour spouts and i'm going to pour a generous amount of white that's going to be plenty for what we're going to need now the next thing we're going to do is add in a little blue and it's not going to take very much we're just going to want a little and then see where we're at with our color I'm just going to start with that little dab, see what shade of color we wind up with. And we're getting a pretty nice blue there already. I think I'm going to do just a little touch more. Yeah, that's going to be plenty. And we'll get that stirred up. Okay, that gives us a really nice, really light blue, which is what I want for the shade I want for the top. So I put up this demo wall in our garage. I didn't spend much time finishing the drywall, so please pardon the imperfections, but it should work fine so I can demonstrate the painting techniques I used. I want to mention, I like to use at least two coats of primer slash sealer so that our paint won't be soaking into the drywall. This is very important. Hey, now would be a great time for you to hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out on future episodes of this underwater bathroom. And if you like these seascapes that you're seeing, please hit the thumbs up button. So the first thing we're gonna do is mask off our ceiling and the areas we don't want painted. Now to start with, all I'm going to be doing is painting this wall here. This other wall doesn't matter if I get paint on it or not. So now in my tray, I've got the light blue that we mixed up earlier. And I'm going to use that to paint onto the wall. When painting, ensure you get a heavy enough coat so that it covers the wall since we are only applying one coat and I need to get a little more paint on my brush here. And I'm just going to paint a strip going across. That's basically the thickness of my, or the width of my brush, I should say. I won't do any color blending on this first layer as I just want a nice even color at the top. Oh, I want to tell you about the story of how this under the sea bathroom project started. I will tell you that a little later in this video, so don't let me forget. Okay, I think the top starting layer is good. So now in my tray, so I added some dark blue, I added some white, and I've got some yellow. And I put a little bit of water in the middle, because I'm going to use that to help thin my brush a little bit. I don't want to get it too thin, but... So now I'm going to start back with the light blue again. And we're gonna come down a little bit below where we were.
I'm going to pick up just a dab of blue. We're going to blend that in. because we will paint over it. And that's why I start at the top and work down is because if you have any splatter paint, it's going to fall down because of gravity. That way, if we were starting at the bottom going up and we drip down, we'd be Going back over what we already did. All right, I'm gonna pick up just a little more blue. We can always make our color darker by adding more blue. Start blending that in. And if we want it lighter, just add some white. Take a little of this blue. I'm gonna go ahead and mix it in with the light blue I already got. Now, typically I don't want it blended real even because we want to have some streaking now i'm going to pick up some yellow so we're going to have some uh, yellow and green will give our wall some life yellow streaks in here if you notice i got some where i'm a little bit lighter with the white over here and i'm just going to leave that so now we got some nice little aqua colors going on there I'm going to work my way down, go ahead and get another layer going down here. Pick up a little more blue. Now as we add more yellow and blue in it, we'll have more of a green color. As we go down the wall, I will just keep adding more blue in. Also, instead of just going straight across with a brush, I will add some wave motion up and down. Oh, so I thought I'd tell you a story about how this under the sea bathroom project started. So my wife kind of had the idea, but it was nowhere to the extent that I took it to. So after the drywall had been finished, she wanted for me to go to the big box store with her to pick out some paint to do this under the water themed bathroom. So I already had a pretty good idea of what I wanted to do with the walls. And uh, 
I wanted to surprise her, so I kind of put it off. I just told her, I'd take care of it, don't worry about it. So one weekend, her and some family were out of town, and I thought it would be a good time to surprise her with this. And what you see in the bathroom, the, the wall paintings, is what I did that weekend while she was gone. And when she got back, and uh, she wanted to see what kind of progress I'd made on our bathroom, and she seen that, and she was just speechless. She was just staring at it, couldn't believe what she seen. So at that time, I mean, it was just the walls I had painted. It wasn't any of the coral formations or the intricate glass work, tile work. It was just the walls painted. And she was blown away by it. Okay, so I've got the wall blended with mostly just the dark blue at the bottom. So that finishes up this wall. And I would repeat this technique for the remaining walls I want painted with the seascape look. So in the next upcoming episode, I will demonstrate how I made the coral formations found throughout our under the Sea Bathroom Paradise. Hope you enjoyed this. Thanks for watching.